With the recent delays of Iron Man VR, Last of Us Part 2, Wasteland 3, and Minecraft Dungeons, we're starting to see the roll-on effects of developers and publishers having to adjust to working from home, collaborating remotely, and navigating the logistics of releasing a game with a limited supply chain. While this isn't the only time games have been delayed, usually it's to give developers extra time to polish, iron out bugs, or to clear room for a busy release schedule. In this respect, not all delays are bad. In fact, famed Nintendo producer and designer Shigeru Miyamoto once said, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. Welcome to Game Gentlemen. In this list, we look at six delayed games which were worth the wait. Gravity Rush 2 Originally slated for a December 2016 release, the Sony exclusive title suffered a short delay of just over one month in order to give the game some breathing room from other AAA releases. If Gravity Rush 2 had been released on its original date, it would have been in direct competition with major releases such as The Last Guardian and Final Fantasy XV. When the game was released, it received favourable reviews with a Metacritic score of 80 out of 100. Horizon Zero Dawn Another 2016 game which was pushed back into early 2017, Horizon Zero Dawn was given a delay of a few months in order for the development team to give the game more polish. The game finally released on the 28th of February to critical and commercial acclaim, and as of February 2019, Horizon Zero Dawn had sold over 10 million copies worldwide, making it one of PlayStation 4's best-selling exclusives. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Announced in 2013 and originally set for release on the Wii U, Breath of the Wild actually suffered two delays due to issues within its physics engine. Ultimately, Breath of the Wild would become a launch title for the Nintendo Switch and receive critical acclaim, including perfect scores from publications such as Forbes, Giant Bomb, Polygon, GameSpot, and IGN. The title was awarded a lot of Game of Year accolades in 2017 and 2018, and Game of the Decade by review aggregator site Metacritic. Cuphead the side-scrolling shooter with a distinctive 1930s animation style, Cuphead was first announced on the Xbox stage at E3 in 2014. The first game from indie studio, Studio MDHR, had actually been in development since 2010. To produce the 1930s aesthetic, the animations had to be hand-drawn with backgrounds being painted in watercolour first and then colourised in Photoshop. This labour-intensive process was part of the delay as announced via a blog post from the studio in 2016, pushing back the release to the following year. Critical reception for the title was generally positive, with many critics noting the game's tough but fair difficulty. Final Fantasy XV Final Fantasy XV's delays throughout its 10-year development cycle are quite infamous, including when they started the game from scratch mid-development. However, we'll be focusing on one final delay before release. Just before the scheduled release date of September 30th, 2016, the title was delayed by an additional two months to the 29th of November. This was to give the development team more time to polish the title. And hey, if you've waited 10 years for a game, what's an extra two months? Resident Evil 4 Originally announced to be in development back in 1999, Resident Evil 4 was reported to have gone through at least four different iterations before the game we know and love. One of the most famous iterations in the development of the title was a concept which focused on making the game cooler and more stylish with a focus on action gameplay. Game director Shinji Mikami felt that this style strayed too far from the core of Resident Evil and the game would eventually be reworked and released as the first Devil May Cry. Other iterations of the game included more traditional zombies, as opposed to the Ganados that we see in the final version, and the famed Hookman version which had a far more paranormal theme. When the game was finally released on GameCube in January 2005, it was universally praised and has stood the test of time and received re-releases and HD updates across multiple consoles. And that's the end of our list. Which delays did we miss that you felt were worth the wait? Which ones did you think really weren't? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our videos.